Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel I'm Strawberry and today I'm sharing my K-pop pet peeves. A disclaimer I'm not here to hate any idol, group or fan this is simply a highlight list of things in K-pop that annoy me. Camera work and dance practices. What is the point in this? Some fans myself included like to learn from the videos and it's just unnecessary but also practices are supposed to show the choreo not be music video part 2. K-pop song TikTok trends. I don't hate the whole K-pop TikTok thing because I love Inhopin and it sees TikToks but also the collaborations but hearing the song over and over really outplays it quick. Groups with many albums but with bad B-sides. I love Le Seraphim, Inhopin and Stacey because they have amazing B-sides all of Inhopin's songs, are like title tracks. I don't know but if there isn't at least one good B-side then what's the point of having a mini album just make it a single. Repeated clips in survival shows. I get that they try to build suspense and tension by showing different point of views but it's annoying and I usually skip it. I get that X member is worried if she will pull off the high note but I don't need to know that X member in a different room and X member 3 days ago was also worried to please just show the high note and it kinda makes the shows hard to watch. Sexualizing of male idols. It's okay if idols want to have their shirts off or wear crop tops or even have a sexy concept because being confident in your body is nothing to be ashamed of or cringe but it should be their choice. Example Kai Exo and crop tops he is quite no for them but he has stated himself he didn't like wearing them and he often felt uncomfortable also one of who is known for his ripped body and I do think he is quite confident but let's be honest lots of his popularity is because of it and he is often sexualized fans talk about female idols but male idols dance half naked most of the time and it's just accepted, claiming groups are underrated. I always see this but ATs are not underrated neither are Stray Kids or Luna. Were they at the time yes but they all worked hard and now they're very popular, I feel like it takes away from the success and work and you're just downgrading your group. Idols hated for plastic surgery. I don't see anything wrong with idols getting surgery especially if it gives them confidence. Idols like Wanning and Karina get a lot of hate, and for what they were already extremely pretty they were simply given the more idol look. Either way fans shouldn't judge. Stands bringing up unrelated topics. I hate this when a video or YouTube shorts will be about a group's music and then someone brings up a completely different and starts comparing them it's annoying and rude. No, questions on live. I hate this because idols are like questions anyone and etc and all anyone can do is call them cute and send a bunch of hearts, like idols have taken time out of their day and you can't ask if they had a good day many are crying that V live is gone when they probably just sent hearts the whole time. Groups debuting over and over with Girl Crush. I literally hate this more than, life it's just not badass anymore in the music and look are all the same. Stereotyping all fans. As a young stan I swear to you I never once thought that, V on V live I don't understand the confusion but also I didn't think I would marry my fave like language barrier in different countries is it delusional or common sense? I don't think everyone thinks like this just because they're new to, hating on vocalist who rap. I don't know why people hate so much that Sami raps occasionally I actually really liked her rap in Dum Dum. It's fine if you dislike it but a fun sassy rap in a song doesn't ruin the whole song. Ok that's all for the video feel free to share yours below and check out my community tab for updates. Please hit that like and subscribe button this is Strawberry signing.